What's going on y'all? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. So today, uh, we're going to talk about travel guitars because I've been on this little travel thing, obviously, as much as I travel. So we're going to talk about travel acoustics. So I do a bunch of traveling, obviously. We just did that video about the Spark Mini, the little baby Spark amp. I'll put an arrow gray box thing up here to that so that you can check it out because it's a pretty cool video that thing's pretty neat and i got to thinking about travel acoustics while i was at nam i met the guys from close guitars i've been doing some kind of research and stuff kind of figuring out what i want but we're gonna actually sit down at the computer and uh order one and get it and see how good it is so let's click through some stuff and see, because they got some kind of neat options actually. Okay, so uh, this is pretty cool. They have a couple of different sizes. First of all, they have full size acoustic guitars and they have travel size acoustic guitars. I already have a full size acoustic carbon fiber guitar, my McPherson Sable. So I want to go with the travel size. In amongst that, they have the hybrid series and the full carbon series. I think on their hybrid series, uh, the idea here is that you're gonna have like a wood neck on a carbon fiber body, a wood bridge. So if that's more your feel, you could do that. What I like about these guitars, uh, after doing some research about them, is they're a full scale length. I think they're 24.75, that's what it feels like to me. These things start at 839, they do have truss rods in them, they're, they're pretty cool. I personally wanna go with the full carbon thing cause I'm full carbon guy. So as we go through here, um, uh, let's get a pickup in it. So I think these pickups are Fishman's, if I can remember correctly. They are Fishman pickups. You can actually option in other acoustic electric pickups. You could actually, if they have, if you want one that they don't have, you can send it in and they'll put it in, which is pretty cool. I'm also gonna get the accessories kit because um, there's, Apparently the neck comes off of this guitar, so I want to see kind of how it travels versus just, it's small, so we should just be able to take it with us when, wherever we want to go. You've seen the Instagram ads about this thing, but I want to do the Essentials accessory kit because I like the case. I think the, the gig bag is pretty cool with it. Obviously I, I play righty, so we need a righty. You can do a side hole sound port, sort of like the Gibson G hole, that's what I call it. Uh, but I don't care about that. Um, engraving, I don't care about that. Uh, so here's your pickup selection. You can get the Fishman Sonotone, which is what I'm gonna get. Um, the K&K Mini, the LR Bags Anthem. In my opinion, I think just getting a pickup in here is gonna be fine. This is a travel guitar. I'm not looking to um, replace like a D28 with this thing or anything. Like this is literally just gonna be that. Now, you can do this in a nylon string build. What's interesting about this is they don't just put nylon strings on the guitar. If you switch it to a nylon string build, it actually changes the bracing and the construction of the guitar because the tension is different. So this is not just, they're not just swapping strings. Something you should know though, this is not a classical guitar build with a big wide neck and the flat radius and all that. It's the same neck, I think. So it's different than, it's kind of, nobody really makes this except for these people. So it's a nylon string guitar, but it's a more of a regular guitar neck with a different body construction, different bridge, that sort of stuff. So just so you know that that's it. I don't want nylon string, I want regular. So add to cart and uh, let's get this junk coming and see how good it is. And I guess we'll do an unboxing when I get it and then we'll take it out I'm going to the lake here pretty soon. Maybe that is the way to give this thing a bit of a test. All right, so today's the day. The close travel guitar came in. Uh, first of all, it is a small box, which is interesting. But that has to do with how the guitar is put together and see what's inside. Very well packaged, didn't rattle around in the box at all, so that's cool. 
confidence inspiring so far. Close guitars, a nice little bag. Oh, this is the rain bag. Cool. Goes over the top. Oh, <laughs> okay. So there is a neck packet right here, and then the body of the guitar is here, and you see the strings coming out right there. And I don't think you have to disassemble it to travel with it every time. There's a capo on there so the strings don't get messed up. And according to the directions online, yep, we've got screws. And in the little tool bag in here, we got a screwdriver. Oh, and it looks like we need to put the saddle in there too. All right. And then we can take the bubble wrap off the peg head. And I guess we'll get it tuned up and see how it sounds. So we're gonna do a full demo on this. I just kind of wanted to show you what you got. So it's pretty cool. Um, you do not have to disassemble it every time because there is an actual gig bag here to travel, but they do make it easier to travel with that little kind of take it apart gig bag. So we'll go through a full review on this uh, once I get to play it a little bit and tell you how it sounds. So you're gonna have to wait for the next video for that. Uh, but there you go. Um, pretty cool. It's got all the specs that I wanted in it. It's got the pickup. It's got uh, the ratio tuners because it's the, the good one. Yeah, we'll have to do a full review, see what it sounds like. And uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe paddle a canoe with it or something. Thanks for hanging out. This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell because we have a bunch of videos coming out, including more with this guitar. I really want to play with it. Yeah, let's see what happens. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you in the next video.